This is how I make a tone matched impulse response. I'm using Reaper. Add a couple tracks. I'm going to use Fab Filter Pro Q3. Put it on both tracks. Uh, let's see. I want to tone match. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Let's do Pantera. Walk. Um, I like to generally take take one side of the track if it's you know there's two guitar takes panned or multiple. The less information, the better. You know. Good. Now. Um, this input will be three. I'm using my Line 6 Helix. This is my mic path here. Um, this is my guitar path, and this path is just so you can hear me through OBS. Um, so, input three is my guitar signal. I'm going out to USB 3 and 4. So my mono signal in USB 3 is coming out. I'm going to change this to a to an amp block. Put it on my, my favorite. Let's make all the EQ nice and even. Sounds like hot garbage right now because there's no cab. And that's what we're going to use for our um, reference track here. So we're going to open up Fab Filter. You can see our guitar curve here. We're going to go down to side chain and external spectrums. We're going to read from the other Pro Q instance, which is the Pantera Walk. And then we're going to go EQ match. We're going to look at our external instance of Pro Q. We're going to hit play. And I'm going to play to it too. Doesn't really matter if you play exactly. My guitar's not tuned for this song, obviously. All right, you hit match. And we're left with an EQ curve. And you can make it less points. Or more points to give you more detail. Okay. Turn off their auto gain here. So now I look at the EQ curve and I go, holy cow, look at all this bass they're adding. And uh, I'll start editing things. Like, we don't, need, we don't need all this information down here. So I'm just going to kind of disable those and... Turn these into a some kind of low cut. What do we have here? There's this sharp drop off point right here. I'm gonna back that up a little bit. Get rid of some of that high end information. <laughs> pretty much tailor it till you see fit. It's in the ballpark, right? So you can mess with it. And So at this point, this path right here has our EQ curve on it. And I'm going to add another VST that comes standard with Reaper. 
called Reverb. And this generates impulse responses. So I start by hitting Add, File, and then Cancel. And then Generate Test Tone. Now our wave bit depth, changing it to 24, and my sample rate is that. We're going to find a place to put our test tone. Test tone. And it's important that you put the test tone and all your other files for this project kind of in the same place. I'll explain that later. Boom. So we've got in our test folder down here, our test tone. So now I'm going to take that, bring it into Reaper. And I'm going to move the fade ins all the way off. This is going to be really, really loud. So I'm going to turn that down like crazy. I'm going to mute dime bag Daryl here. Woo, that's loud. And turn it down way more. Whew, still pretty loud. Oh, man, it's loud. So you want it. I kind of want it as loud as you can get it without clipping. That's pretty good. 0.3 under zero. I'll, I'll live with that. And then you want to time select just this region. File. Render. We're going to do the time selection. We're going to call it uh, dime sweep. Our sample rate is 48. We're doing it wave, 24 bit. I'm going to render. So what this does is this sweep is now inside of our EQ curve. Now what we have, ah, I forgot to do something. File, render, dime sweep. You got to choose the correct location. Browse for directory right here. Test folder. Boom. Ta-da, there it is. Now we have our test, our dime sweep. You want to listen to that just well you could just see it it's it's basically this thing but with the fab filter eq right here all right so now i'm going to come back to reverb and we are going to deconvolve meaning they're going to take the test tone right out of the file So I want to pick the affected file, open, and the test tone. It's important that these are in the same file folder. Or when you save it, when you get to this screen, you save it, you have to save it into the file, I mean, into the folder that all of these are in. So save it into this folder, or it, it gives me an error. This is all... I learned all this by trial and error, so I don't really know that ex exact method. Dime decon. This is the deconvolved version. And save. Oh, see, look, I did something and didn't like it. What didn't it like? Dime sweep. Open. Test tone. Oh, because I didn't put it. <laughs> I didn't put it in the right place. Or did I? Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so now we have our EQ curve. Our, we basically have our IR right here, Dime Decon. Boom. So oftentimes, the IRs are just not loud enough. So this is when I bring them back in. Yeah, that's all there is. Tiny little click. Right at the beginning. So I'll just go ahead and trim all this excess off. Oops. 
turn the fades off. And then what I'll do is I'll just boost it. I'll just keep boosting it until I get it as loud as I can without clipping. It's clipping. All right. Point zero or point one under zero. Good enough for me. So now I'm going to render this. Render dime IR. Render. Boop. There we are. There's the IR right there. So now I can come back in here and I'll drop it right here to number 106. Come down to 106 and we should be ready to go. Let's see. I'm going to bypass everything on this channel so we just hear. That's basically it in a nutshell. Doesn't sound exactly perfect. I wasn't going for perfection. I was going for presentation. I uh, hope you find it useful and don't do anything illegal with this information, please.